Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Je suis Darko Peric et je suis sur Allociné. I was born uh, in a small town in Yugoslavia, you know, in the eastern part. So nothing special, you know, the small town as of any small town. But then when I became a teenager, when I had like 14 years, the war started in Yugoslavia. And that was really like uh, crazy, <laughs> crazy events. I was growing up like you, you know, like any of the kids uh, in 80s, you know, in Europe. I was playing basketball. I was like, uh, you know, American movies. And then suddenly the war starts, you know, so you have uh, people killing themselves, uh, all of that, you know, man. And that really break, break everything, you know. 90s was really bad back there in Yugoslavia, in Balkans. I left uh, when I had uh, 18. I left, I went to study to Romania. I was in Romania for nine years. I was studying uh, veterinary medicine. That was funny because actually, I, since a young kid, I want to be an actor. But, you know, my family, 90s with all the war, nothing was sure, you know, like how you can want, how you want to be an actor in, in these crazy times, you know. You should be a doctor, you should be a something more concrete, you know. But then for luck, I met some friends in Romania that were studying uh, film and uh, theater. So I started to do with them like uh, some short movies for the school and that. With 18 years, I was hanging with them and then I went to my faculty and I study anatomy and I study pharmacology, you know, but with them I was studying like history of uh, cinema and all of that. So I was combining medicine and the acting. They have something similar, you know, art and medicine, they are healing, you know. Yes. I like a lot of animals, you know, for me it's so noble, you know, like the, the, the profession, but in the end it didn't go with, uh, you know, I preferred like more to go into the art, more to into the acting. Since a little kid, I like art, everything about art, I know. I was drawing as a kid and then I went into the punk rock, you know, the music. And, you know, with the tattoos and all of that. So I started doing tattoos. Uh, first tattoo I got on myself when I had uh, 17, 18, you know. You can find on the internet, you know, some photos with my tattoos. It's like uh, the drawing of Leonardo da Vinci, you know. I start like as a hobby. And then when I went um, to Berlin, I started to do it more. And then I moved to Barcelona. And actually I had it like a job for quite a few years. I was working in the studios and that was my backup job, you know, because from time to time I was doing uh, acting, you know, they called me for a project, small project I do there. But my main job was uh, tattooing till, um, let's say, five years ago, I stopped tattooing, you know, but yeah, I still have uh, some machine tattoo <laughs> and everything. So many people, ah, please, can you do me a tattoo? And I said, now I need the glasses, you know, and it, uh, it's a hard work, you know. <laughs> I speak like every day four languages, uh, English, Spanish, Serbian and Romanian every day. It's for me like uh, normal. I understand French, uh, Italian. Italian is very similar to Romanian, you know. I speak better Italian and understand than French. Portuguese, Portuguese is really similar to Spanish, you know. So I understand Portuguese, I think I could, uh, you know, learn the lines in Portuguese. And of course, because Serbian is a Slavic language, you know, like Russian, and uh, Polish and all of that, they are like, I've done like some um, roles of the Russian Mafia and have some lines in Russian, you know. I try, you know, try to be as more as polyvalent as possible. Qigong or how they call it, Qigong as well. It's an ancient uh, Chinese uh, art. It's a part of the triad, you know, like Kung Fu, Tai Chi and Qigong. So the Qigong is a medical part of that. Actually, to be explained uh, easier, it's like Chinese yoga. It's about uh, respiration and about stretching, meditation. So yeah, I started to do that uh, back eight years ago. At one moment, I was really active in that, you know. I started to do like some uh, workshops, but then with the time, I just do it for myself. But that's really changed my life. Focus me a lot, you know. It's really, I really recommend to do people if they can try that, I really recommend.